Hi all, welcome back to More Space Engineers. Hal here, and we've been uh, a little bit busy off camera. <laughs> so show you what we've been doing, where we are in the build, and what's up next. First, we have to get started, so let's go. Happy Monday, everybody. So, uh, what we have been doing is we let Bob run for a couple of hours on his own. <laughs> Went back to the old base, picked up a, a load of the, the processed silicon because uh, we ran out twice. Let me show you why. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we've been working off, well, off camera a little bit. As you can see, we now have this whole area is actually enclosed and sealed in. Uh, make sure my light is turned off so you can get the full effect. So as you can tell, it is night. Uh, at least planet side, it's night. Looks like um, just going down, actually. But yeah, so we actually have all of our windows in place. We have everything set up. And I have to say, I actually am uh, pretty happy with the way this whole thing turned out. Now, I know a couple of people have asked why did I make this thing extend out so far? And uh, as you can see, it is airtight. Let me show you what the idea is here. We'll turn the light back on so you can see. Now, the idea is that we wanted this to be able to clear the asteroid itself because we're going to play around with ships later on that are using uh, the automated... Oh, trying to remember what, what it's called. There's a script that allows you to set up automated waypoints. Um, it's basically a new version of the autopilot that's in vanilla, but it works much better. So you can actually have a ship come into a specific location, dock where it needs to dock, unload its materials, um, un undock, and then head back to wherever you've got it working. So you can set up uh, relay points for different things. And so we're going to be doing some of that a little bit later in the series. But we're just now getting everything set up so that we can start getting, you know, the, the ship itself or get it, getting the base set up first so that we'll be able to build the ships later. Um, we will have a ship assembly yard down here on the bottom of, of the asteroid. We haven't finished the design on that portion yet, uh, but... We have been making progress. Now, one of the other reasons why I have this arm uh, set up in the way that it is, is the center line here on each of these, um, I guess, sections, have the potential to have a uh, an arm that comes off of them for docking purposes. So we'll basically be able to tether smaller ships on this out here, on the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm thinking we're going to start it here. Oh, I don't have any steel plates, do I? No, it's okay. We'll use that as a marker because it's going to be an interior plate there anyway. And so the idea is that we'll have it come out a little bit. Uh, so some of these windows will go away. But, you know, that's the idea. So we're going to have a small dock area over here uh, for the smaller builds to come in. So things like the miner and, and that kind of, that type of build. Um, and I'm thinking I may put a landing pad out here specifically for things like the, the small mining craft that you see over on the, uh, the big ship. So that way we have an actual area to... Uh, to land ships and then have that just be open to space and we'll have a uh, a door and you might actually do I might actually use this for that uh, That might not be a bad idea Of course that means I have to alter the uh, asteroid a little bit, but we're not above doing that. So, you know definitely something to, to keep in mind um, once I have a little bit more of an idea what I want to do with it, I'll probably update what I might do. Oh, you know what I could do? 
Okay, so I'm just using these as placeholders. Uh, don't think that they're, this is going to go all the way like this. How many is that? It's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So we're going to count that as 20. Let's count that as 24 because this is basically where it's going to tie in. So there will be a door here, probably here. So that'll be a door. So that'll be wall. So yeah, we'll go 24. Right. And again, I'm just setting up, trying to get an idea of where things need to be uh, for spacing purposes. Okay. So that's 24. We're going to take this out to 31. So it's 25, 6, 7, 31. And if we do, th actually, I need to do 30, th well, let's do, if we do 11, that's 33, 36. Yeah, let's do 36. So I need five more, is that right? And that should give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11. And we're going to do 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And that should give us 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I guess I could actually bring that in one, but that's fine. Because that's going to be a wall there. It's going to be a wall there. And so basically what we're doing is we're mapping out an area. How many more of those do I have? I only got 14. How okay. come? Uh, we're basically mapping out docks over here because what I'm going to do is instead of having, you know, four or five things that branch off in here, which I had actually thought about doing on this side, like bring it out here. And then that way you'd have a row of berth on both sides. But I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to make it a little bit easier and just have all of the docking in one area. Basically pointing in one direction. So it's ships pull in, they do what they need to do, they back out, and then they take off. Yes, I'm, like, I'm liking that. Alright, so if we're doing... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do I want to do eleven? Because if I do eleven, we could set it up so that smaller ships actually have a place to land, larger ships dock. which means I have to come up with a consistent area for ships to board and, un and disembark. Hmm. That might be worth doing. Let's go 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, 15 is a better number. I like that. Gives us a considerable amount of more space. All right. Let's go pick up some plates. And like I said, these are just placeholders. We will eventually come back and uh, replace this stuff, so I'm not too worried about everything that we're working on right this second. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Okay. And then what we'll have here is go like that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Alright. 
And we're gonna do here as well. up there okay and what we'll do is for this one since it's the one that's right here this is going to be the dedicated hard landing space I think Did that look at you that actually worked out pretty perfectly because what we'll be able to do is we can have a uh, Basically, another doorway here. Yes. And then the wall. So that's a wall. Well, what I'm thinking, or what I'm wondering is, is do we want to just put in an airlock door here? And we'll leave. I guess that we would. Hmm. Because all right, let me see here. Let me show you what, what I'm talking about. I'm stuck in my head here. Let's uh, go ahead and do that. You are going to be there, so you come out. And we put in number nine. Okay. So there would be a door there. There will be a door here. And then this one is actually going to change up a little bit. And what, one of the things that I was talking about doing would be either have it set like this or like that. I think I like that a little bit better. Um, on this side, it is actually going to be just this. Well, maybe. I don't know. So if we did. Something like this. Uh, let's see, it's so one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna do two, three, four, five. No, I need it. I want it to be. I want it to be in the middle, which requires me to basically have this be here. If we, yeah, okay. Well, what I'm trying to do is three, four, five, is have this set up so that the uh, pylon, or what will be a pylon, will be uh, in the middle. Two, three, four, five, right? This. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, that's gonna that'll work. That'll work. And then over here we're gonna replace your normal coffee with uh, decaf. Alright. <laughs> So I want that. There you go. So you end up with that. And what I can do whoop, is uh, apparently get turned upside down. All right, so let's go ahead and take these out for a second. And instead of making this a wall here, Oh, you know what I could do? 
Let's see, you are technically a wall, right? So it's one, two, three, four, five. We said that this was going to be the wall area. So if we do, let's go, just keeping the, uh, the building motif going. Yo. Something like this, maybe? And then uh, we'll put the walkways in. Because we have them, so may as well use them, right? So what we want... Going to be this one, I think. Oh, I actually have plates for this? Nice. So you just end up with something like this. And basically we'll this will let me use the uh, the space here as uh, access space around them. Around the whole thing. Okay. Now, did I... Okay. Come here, you. I know, I'm so used to playing in gravity now. I keep forgetting. All right. So we have that. And we're going to repeat this oh, process on both sides. So we want... We want this to be consistent. Eight, seven. There you go. And then we have a... Whoop, come here, you. <laughs> Let's make sure we're actually attached to stuff. All right, and then what we'll do is there's a piece that we can get for walkways. Nope. That has the single post in the corner. What? Are you serious? No. What do you... Alright, so you use girders and construction. I had exactly enough girders for everything but these two corners, really? Alright, well, that, that works. So, yeah, but basically what this will end up doing is allowing us to have the ability to be inside and look out here into the general docking area. So, you know, if you have a small ship or anything, you'll be able to see what's going on out here. And that's part of the reason why we set up the supplies the way we did, because now what I'll be able to do is figure out exactly where I need to, and we'll be able to cut into the supply line and have it basically run uh, supplies out here too. So it'll all be tied together into the, into the overall cargo system. Yes? All right. So, uh, for this, I think we're gonna fill it in with um, the hangar doors. Or blast doors, rather. All right. Oh, there we go. We want the blast door blocks. No, well, that's not a blast door. There we go. That's a blast door. All right. Of course, placed it incorrectly, but that's okay. Not that worried about it. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and place a bunch of these. Not overly concerned with the order that they end up in, because we get, we're going to come back through and fill all this in anyway. So we're just basically trying to get it get it started at least. Come here, you. Everyone's a comedian, right? All right. Yes, and like I said, I know that I'm missing a few spots. Oh. Okay, so why did you suddenly change? <sighs> All right. See? 
put it again. All right. That is just absolutely random. Let go. What are you doing? Okay, so we'll go ahead and get the last couple of these in here. Like I said, it really is just a uh, duplication of some some of the stuff you've seen me do in the past. So auto rotate is turned on again for some reason, even though I didn't do anything to turn it on. Okay. Ah, space engineers, yes. Why do you vex me so hard? All right. So I think that's most of them. We'll bring Bob over here off camera and have him weld all this crap up for us, but it gets us the uh, the general landing area in place. We'll be able to pressurize that. I almost thought about doing a hangar on here, um, but I think we're going to save the hangar for the back side of the asteroid. So we'll have the connection arm here, the boom set up. No boom today, maybe boom tomorrow. On the opposing side, we'll have the secondary boom on that side. As you can see, I haven't really done anything more with that side yet. Um, and then we have... Uh, that might actually look pretty good. I might I might actually ex extend this out a few more. Yeah, uh, I might I might do that. I might extend that out. If I'm really in like just feeling ridiculously in uh, industrial or industrious, I should say, I may take off this portion of the asteroid and build another set over on this side. Give us a uh, maybe maybe rotate the docking ring uh, or the docking area 90 degrees so that you have ships be able to, like small ships being able to come in and dock on this side and just have them you know like stack up in there All right. yeah, I think we're gonna do one more of these I'm kinda liking the idea of that now let's hold on two three four five six whoop wrong blocks Let's try that again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, and that is the outer arm. That gives us three decent sized areas. One area set up specifically for the really small craft, and then uh, larger ships, like the uh, capital size. Ships, uh, yeah, the, the, technically the the uh, the little I don't want to call it tender, but you know the little shuttle. Well, what is that? I guess the mining barge um, is technically capital class, but I have to do a little redesign on it for this docking area. Anyway, okay, so that gives us the beginnings of what we need, and we did what 15 ounce. That's three, four. And then if we sight up on this, everything is in a line. That is good. All right. All right. So we're going to come back over here. And uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to finish this line off. I'm going to go ahead and keep doing the, the counts all the way out to the end, keeping the, uh, the, the theme consistent. And when we come back, I'll do a quick cut just to get this done off camera. Uh, when we come back, from that, we'll uh, take a look and see what else we need to do, and we'll probably start working on some of the design a little bit, uh, just to start getting it a little bit more finalized. So uh, yeah, let me do that quick cut, and we will be right back. And we're back. All right, so <clears throat> I've gone ahead and done a little bit of welding just to help visualize things a little bit here. So what we've done is on the center marks, and where walls will be, we have uh, gone ahead and welded up. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I'm trying to figure out where I need to get supplies into and how I want to get supplies in into these areas. And I'm not sure quite yet how I'm going to do it. 
I'm thinking maybe a combination of things. How many interior plates do I have? I only have four. Let's go grab some interior plates really quick. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Or at least maybe give you an idea what I'm thinking. We'll, we'll see how well that works. <laughs> Go ahead and grab a bunch. Okay. That should be enough. At least for now. Just prototyping stuff. So what I'm thinking here is we'll end up with say something like this one. Where we'll go uh, I don't know. Let's go 2, 3, 4, 5. Because we did this out to 15. So we'll do that. Yo. Alright, so that's one, two, three, four. At number five. It's one, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four. And what I'm thinking here is we do something like this. Uh, and you are the center line and we want you to be where everything comes together. So we have something like that for this one. And we're basically going to mirror that on the other side. And the idea is that, you know, it's basically for something to pull directly in here. And it'll give me a little bit more of an idea of how I need to get things for uh, walkways and such. Because what I might do... Hmm. I might just say the hell with this portion instead we do something like this and then we have there This beefs it up a little bit without adding a whole lot of uh, surface space. And then we can bring this down here to just kind of clean up the lines a little bit so it's not a giant flat block. Yeah, could be interesting, right? And if we do, we want something a little bit beefier than regular walkway rails here. So let's, let's give that a try really quick. Yeah, I like it. It works, right? Alright, so... What we're going to do here is we're going to have, let's go, no, we want that there. We want this to be at least too deep. I'm going to take you out. Because what we want to, what we want to do here is we're going to uh, smooth this out a little bit. So we're going to go one there, one there, right? And go like so. Oh, you are going to be a problem. Because you're not going to do what I want you to do, aren't you? Let's 
Oh, nothing can ever go easily for us, right? It's okay. We'll, we'll make it work. There we go. And so, basically, what we're doing is just trying to build a little bit of a uh, a gradual, uh, more of a gradual slope, I guess would be a kind of what the ultimate piece is here. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Let's see, how does that look? I don't know. I mean, what do you think? We'll fill this in. We'll go ahead and keep, we'll keep this one like this. And I think for the other ones, what we'll do is we will uh, only have one of these types of docks. So, so it's going to go there, there. So you are going to say, like a so. Yeah. All right. That should be. Right. That should be right. Okay. Come back from it. Uh, we ended up with things not being equal for some reason. Oh, that's why. Okay. So what we want then is to cut this one back. And you are going to do the same thing that we did before. So we have you there, you there. Uh, see? There we go. How's that? Much better. My OCD, my minor version of OCD was kicking in. Okay. So that gives us basically a, a dry dock style area here for, you know, something somewhere between that ship and the big shuttle. So, you know, not ship of the line, but, you know, something, something heftier than, I guess it would be just kind of a medium build. And then for this guy, we're going to do just a, a pretty straightforward dock, I think. Let's go ahead and we're going to do that. And for this one, we're going to do something a little different. Cross. Mm -hmm. You know what? We might just go ahead and let's do it. Let's keep it simple. I know people are kind of curious as to what I'm going to do with the uh, the dividing area here. Do that. You are going to be... I want this to be too wide. Go ahead and get the basic stuff in the place at least. Turn it. Okay. And the reason why we want that to be too wide is uh, yeah that's right okay 
And then we have basically the same on this side now. And so, like I said, basically we're just trying to get an idea of what we might end up doing with it. I've still not sold on any of these concepts, so let me know which one you, you might like the most. Because we could actually just go ahead and turn all of these into either one very large just landing pad. So basically just small ships over here. You know, and maybe have something like that for a medium ship. Um, what we will probably do... Okay. What we'll probably do is take the, the blocks that we're using here on the edge out and uh, put in the blast door edging so that we don't have to worry about things getting stuck to it. <laughs> All right. So... I did that. Okay, and then we're gonna... Okay, so we're gonna continue the motif here. So you end up with something a little bit easier to, to navigate. Like I said, it really is for, you know, basically a smaller style shuttle, not necessarily things like the big shuttle we left over at the old base. Uh, but looking at it, that other shuttle would probably fit in this space, quite honestly. Huh. Yeah, we'll give it a try. I'll I'll bring the shuttle over from the other base. We'll get, we'll park it over here and just see what it looks like. Right. Kind of liking that though. See, I like the idea of this one because it's a more of a, a traditional shipyard design. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, I'll probably just leave this one as it is. And we'll build out these two to be for the, like I said, for slightly larger vehicles. And then the small craft basically park over here. Right. So, let's go ahead and get the rest of these in. You've already seen me do a few of these blocks, so I'm thinking let's do a uh, another quick cut while I get this sorted out. Because I'm just basically going to be repeating what we've already done. And uh, we will be right back. And we're back. Okay, so well, I really need to put a gravity generator on the space. <laughs> All right. So what we've done? Let me go ahead and back up here a little bit. Show you what we're looking like now. Let's go ahead and get that out of the out of our hand. And I'm kind of liking the way that that line works there. So I may swap those out. Yeah, I'm thinking, because what I'm thinking here is um, I'm kind of liking the way that this line comes together. So I may do this instead. Maybe do that. And what we can do here is we can have it transition at that point in. you know what we can do. Let's get rid of you for a second. Let's grab you. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, do that. Gonna grab these out of here really quick and see what that looks like once we're done. And see, the nice thing is, is that did I? No, I did it over here. Yeah. So if we do that, basically we can replace this entire area. Yeah, so you're gonna be. Where did I drop those? Drop them in seven. Okay. So we put one there. Put one there. And 
then we can do this. Cleans the lines up a little bit. Yeah, I'm liking that. I think I like that. Alright. I think I like that. And then that basically gives you a, a single block of walkway here. I might go through and uh, narrow this up a little bit. But anyway, let me show you what I was work working on over here. So in between, in betwixt maybe, I don't know, <laughs> in between each of the bays, we're going to have to have some form of separation. So what I'm thinking here is that we do, uh, how many blocks is this we want? That it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, two, three, four, five, yes. Okay. Now, what I'm thinking here is that we do every other block on this side, like so. On the other side, like so. Come here, you. And then that one caps that off there. So we say just like so, just like so. Because this doesn't need to be airtight, right? Let me show you what this is. How many bullet plates? Okay, yeah, I should have enough plates for this. Show you what this looks like when it's loaded up. So you have the. Uh, actually, I might take. I might continue that pattern down on the bottom line, too. So you end up with something like that. And then on the other side, you have something similar. It just, you know, makes it, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Think it's going to be annoying if I, if I do it that way? It might be better if we did that lower. Cause I'm trying to find, I'm trying to figure out a way to give us some texture on the, uh, I mean, it is too wide there. If we do, cause if we keep it too wide, I guess we could just Hmm, let's see here. Uh, you know what? No, no, let's leave. Let's leave you there. We'll take the rest of this apart, though. And yes, I know, we shouldn't be greebling yet. But that's okay. This is what makes it fun, right? Oopsie. <laughs> So if we go that way, and now the reason why I'm I'm setting this particular side up the way I am is because I want to have it do something like this. I'm thinking I might take that up a little higher. Hmm. Right, and you're gonna go basically the exact opposite of that. So you're gonna be there, there, and there, and then you. 
we'll go here and here. We're gonna do the same on the other side. And I'm thinking to keep this somewhat open. Do something like that. I mean, because we do, I mean, if we're going to go this route with it, we could always go here. Let's go like that, to like that. So we could always do something like this. Well, hell, I could even take it up a level. So what I'm thinking here Energy critical. instead of doing it like that we could just start here and we have you here do here is say something like this to there and then have you come down there have you go there and we do that Ooh, that could actually be could be something leave us to be able to put lighting in the middle we do more walkways uh, let's grab the walkway here and what I'm thinking is is something like these style walkways so that you have a railing so you can't walk through here easily uh, but it still gives you the separation that you need even though it's visibly open could uh that could be something. And on this side we would do the same. So let's rotate that through. What did we do there? We did that and then invert six, okay. block you are that flip to there flip to there there yes <laughs> that uh, we might need to not oh I'm out of power damn it <laughs> We're going to need to change that up a little bit. Oh. All right. Let me, <laughs> let me go ahead and get my energy back. Oh, so 
that's the uh, the general idea of what we're working on or we're, we're working with I think let's go ahead and turn you around can oh the spotlight doesn't quite make it oh that's okay we've got more power it's fine I'm gonna have to do I'm definitely gonna have to figure out a, a lighting solution for all of this I know what we're talking about here is basically the same what we've got there and what it's going to do is it's going to come up and feed into this system I think so maybe we do that and we go like that Oh. I'm kind of actually liking the, uh, the way we did those ramps. Uh, I mean, I guess I could take that out. If we take, if we take you out. And we go like so. Let's see if we do this. because that's going to be too tight it needs it actually has to have five spacing right, so let's go like so let's see if we do this and basically I didn't just cut the okay. Because I, I hope I didn't just cut that loose. Um, that would have been funny, <laughs> not in a good way, but it would have been funny. Mm -hmm. right, so if we do that to there, to there maybe. We do this. Do that. And that gives us the walkthrough that we need. Eh? Okay, I'm thinking I like that idea. This needs to come off. I'll figure out something to do with that. I may just take these up as a, a small offset like this. So we end up with, uh, yeah, half cube. Say something like that. And then uh, if I decide to, this gives me the ability to basically from here build an arc up over the entire bay and then we can backfill it in. Yeah, that should work. Okay, I think we're gonna go with that idea um, for now. I may change it later once we weld it all up and see what it looks like. But I don't have the parts on me to actually weld all this up right this second. But that's fine, we don't need to. That's what Bob's for. So I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, mirror this 
down on uh, this this boom here or this pylon or pier I guess technically pier um, we'll mirror that over here bring the ship over let Bob weld everything up off camera and um, I think that's going to do it for us today uh, we got a lot done it's not bad for for a Monday right <laughs> anyway I'm gonna get out of here I hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you hit that like button if you have any questions or comments well you, there's a section down below this video that's what it's for so throw them in there <laughs> anyway I'm gonna get out of here if you want to see more be sure to subscribe if you want to make sure you're kept up to date ring that little bell next to it and um, yeah as always folks take care and be safe out there everybody <sighs> okay so now we just need to figure out exactly how we're gonna do this. <laughs>